He likes the thickness of the dough. That's why he's dating me, obviously. Oh so, yeah, this horse is break dancer. <laughs> horse that's break dancing. This one's a ballet dancer. Excuse okay, ready? you. Tamburino. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today <laughs> I made a huge mistake. That's what happened today. Mukbang, woo! Dun dun! Mukbang, woo! Okay, I get it. You're unenthusiastic. I get it. This looks unenthusiastic. I'm very enthusiastic. What are this you talking about? This pizza is flatter than my. This pizza is supposed to be a once in a lifetime opportunity for us LAers. What do we call ourselves? Basic pizzas. Los Angelinos. To try New York City's infamous. I don't even know if it's famous because Justin's from New York and he said he's never heard of the place. And they are doing a pop up in LA for just this weekend. And so my dumb ass said, you know what? I gotta have it and it is very far from where we live and we made the trek we went we got it and now here it is <laughs> and let me tell you something they don't just sell a pizza they don't sell a full pizza they also don't sell just one slice they sell two slices and a t-shirt for $30 <laughs> two slices of pizza and a t-shirt for $30 I'm not gonna lie the t-shirt looks like it's $1 the pizza looks like it's 50 cents each so all I'm gonna trying to ask is, is where the, the hell, hell is my other $28, $28 going to? Maybe it's this. Maybe <laughs> it's the beautiful boxes. All of this and three shirts had to come in six separate boxes. Six? Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a bite of this. Why does it taste like that? Why is it sweet? Why does it taste like applesauce? Do you taste applesauce? Am I losing it? Did something happen? You want some ramen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to taste that $28. I'm trying. I just don't think I have the facilities for it. Maybe I just don't have a bougie mouth, you know? I can't wait for you to hear this. You know, there's a TikTok hack I saw. Which Apparently, is? you put the pizza in a pan, drizzle some water in it, and then like stir it for a few minutes. I think, I think that's, I have to look it up. And then the pizza turns amazing. They say that's how you turn your overnight pizza into the best should pizza ever. Should we try ever. it? Maybe we should. You want to look it up? Okay, we'll be right back. Here's what's happening right now. My fiance immediately when I cut the camera, he decided to describe it with such Shakespearean poetic words that I feel the need to express his feelings to you. And he said that he likes the thickness of the dough. That's why he's dating me, obviously. But it kind of reminds him. I did not him. say that part. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of reminds him of a of, of a school lunch. So this school lunch I had, <laughs> high school lunch, we okay. have the doughiest pizza. Okay. And that's the first pizza I ever had when I came to America, and I, I just got used to it. And then later on, I just couldn't find them anymore. And I'm so glad New York brought them back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. By the way, this is not a New York pizza. This is not New York pizza? I mean, pizza? it is, but I'm sure they're not, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're just off their game because they're not on home base. Like, Look at how thick this crust is. I feel like I could if, go into my story. I feel like I could sit here and take little nibbles of this pizza, but you guys would be <clears throat> immediately triggered that I'm not eating the pizza. Secondly, I don't think I can eat the pizza. <laughs> Thirdly, I don't know how I feel about this emotionally because we just spent $90 on said New York City pizza. So we're in a little bit of a pickle right now. <laughs> Bits. It's very good. We Honey, just need, like... it's very good, he <sighs> says, as he nibbles a little bit. <laughs> Obviously, it's so good. <laughs> and there's not so much extra dough. It's just the perfect dough to pizza ratio. I'm trying to think, how can you even salvage a pizza? If it was like meat, like fried chicken, we could probably shred it, throw it into some salads, throw it into like a freaking ramen. The but bread, pizza, we can eat the bread with something. Avocado toast. It's more like eating breadsticks with no toppings on the breadstick it's like eating olive gardens breadsticks without the butter on the breadstick with like one baby tomato on the side <laughs> and like a little tiny pile of shredded cheese like maybe just 14 pieces of shredded cheese on the side i need you to calm down <laughs> honestly i'm really really upset <laughs> well i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking. What's going on, Stephanie? What is this channel turning into? 
you. Is this your mukbang channel version two bits? No, it's not. But let me tell you something. That pizza, that pizza nearly killed me. That pizza is eating my soul alive right now. So normally, when it comes to mukbang food, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes. So I know a lot of people are like, what do you do with the leftovers? Do you guys eat leftovers or do you not eat leftovers? Apparently, it's a big question. With mukbang leftover food, I try to repurpose it by not eating the leftovers. Does that make sense? So like, if I have chicken tacos and I have leftover chalupas, I'll probably pick out this like the things inside and like throw it in like a chicken taco, take out the chicken, throw it into a salad the next day. But I probably won't purpose like the chicken shell itself. If I have leftover fried chicken, I take off the skins, get the chicken meat, throw it into a salad the next day. Just so I can kind of healthify the food for the leftover so I'm not eating fried chicken all day every day. Most of the time, mukbang food gets eaten or repurposed. Unless it is this video, which is the most heartbreaking video. You guys just saw me raging. I was bursting with anger. I'm about to pop off. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm so angry about it. I don't know how to repurpose pizza. How do you turn a bad pizza into good pizza? That's like trying to turn a boy into a husband. You are doing too much work and it's not gonna pay off. And so I decided today, my entire mission is to eat the most overpriced pizza, but with a twist, to actually enjoy it. Because right now, if I were to just heat it up, or even if I ate it fresh, I don't think it's really that good. Which is, you know what's even crazier? We had a little bit in the mukbang and they came in like six different boxes. <laughs> and this is all that's left. This is like 90% of the pizza that we ordered, all in this tiny one box. Now, I usually never complain about price because I'm the idiot that purchased it, but this, this right here we're looking at is probably sixty dollars. So there's no way I'm just gonna say, "Oh, that pizza's not good." Like I don't like to waste food, but let's just trash it. This means I'm gonna eat it. I think when we get back, we're about to head out right now. We're gonna, I looked up a bunch of hacks on how to reheat pizza in the most delicious way. I'm gonna try to make some sort of like pizza ramen salad that I looked up. Yeah, it sounds gross, but it looked really, really good in the picture. I'm going to repurpose this pizza and not only repurpose it, but make it absolutely delicious. So that's today's vlog. I really don't know how I feel about the trajectory of my life right now, but it is what it is and this is where I'm going in 2020. So <laughs> I hope you guys are along for the ride but before we do this I thought we would go outside um, I actually wanted to get a bunch of flowers for the house because it's almost Valentine's Day and I'm still working on finishing up our bedroom I feel like every other room is kind of like 90% done right but the bedroom is like at a solid 40% done and I don't I notice myself not spending a lot of time in there which is strange because I normally am a very very big bed lounger and now that there's a sofa in there I'm a huge sofa lounger so we're gonna go out I'm bringing my fiance who I'm, I'm in a little bit of a fight with right now because he walked into my closet as I was changing into this. I know she looks young and fresh and my fiance walks in with a vest on and I said, um, honey, are you going out in that? He said, yeah. He said, you look but like my dad. But the thing is, you bought me this though. As a joke. -a. What do you mean? Oh, that was all a joke? It was all a joke. -a. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I'm like, you look like my dad. What the heck is wrong with you? And I said, actually, you look older than my dad. And he looks at me deadpan and goes, no, I know exactly how he dresses. I bet you he has this vest. And there, that was the end of the conversation. He didn't change. He didn't offer to change. So here we are. It's fine. I wear a lot of stuff he doesn't like, but. Excuse me, sir, 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 dad. Dad, you forgot me. You forgot your kid in the store. Dad, dad, why? This, this is such a dad hand. So we got to the place. It's called Wild Flora. Look, these are the ones that I saw when I grabbed lunch. I found this, uh, Patricia and I tried to grab lunch down there, but we ended up going home and post fading, but we found this little flower shop and I've been wanting to come back since. What this the heck is, is that? Really cool, it looks like you. Honey! So they've got these beautiful trees here. Okay, let's go inside. Even like these little thingies, I feel like they're dried. I feel like we can, no? Well, you know Valentine's coming, so <laughs> I got you. Like these too, and these, I think these are, okay, so this right. is what I saw last time that I thought was so beautiful, and they look low maintenance because it's not like they're in water or anything. So I was thinking I maybe we could. Alive. These are just Let's put them in a vase. I feel like pretty. they match our house vibe, no? Like the beige ones for the bedroom. I think that I'll set one that. You. <laughs> I like this fluffy one. Those look like my extensions. My hair before I brush it. <laughs> I think we're just gonna be on a little search right now. Wow, if only we could maintain these plants, I would totally, look at how pretty this is. There's snake plants in the middle of the table. Oh, wow. I feel like I would love a table like that's this one cool. day, no? Wow. You know how you always make fun of the two strands of hair that I have that's always sticking 
off to the side. I, I think I found my like <laughs> These are so weirdly cute. Mango. <laughs> I found the weirdest plant today. It's kind of... <laughs> so the freaking plant store was overwhelming because I felt like the dogs were going to eat a cactus at any point in time, but they were actually surprisingly good. So now we're just kind of browsing like these random little home decor shops to see if there's anything that interests... I guess this one. <laughs> Can we just talk about this pencil sharpener, pencil holder, and a microphone holder? Wow. And that light right there? Look at that boy. He says, sit on my face. They have a lettuce umbrella. That's supposed to look like lettuce leaves. So freaking cute. Hello everyone! We are back home after a spontaneous adventure in what I would like to call an antique shop because that makes me sound edgier but it was probably just like a regular store with like cool things and there was this old guy who was running the shop and it seemed really cool. He says he's the only one running it and now I've decided to show you guys what we got. We got three things and all of them were a little bit pricey but I feel like I've been looking for things like this for quite some time. I got a tray. Everyone's like, bits. <laughs> That's what you got. So I've been looking for a tray for the bedroom, um, the bed for the longest time, and like something that I can like put on top of me on the couch while I eat, like edit videos, etc., etc. This just sounded like a really good tray. I've seen some online of the wooden tray, and they weren't like as sleek as I wanted it to be. It had like the legs that fold out, fold in. It was more of the food breakfast, bed and breakfast type of tray. But this one looks so sleek, which is one piece of wood with the handles. I also saw there was like acrylic ones from CB2, but I wanted this one. So this is the first thing that we picked up and then the second thing we got I don't think you guys are gonna be interested in but it says it's a mr. Edwards clock it's a British style clock a British design that's it looks like a school clock we're gonna hang it up in the kitchen we don't have any clocks in the kitchen we just have the microwave and it's like such an uncomfortable placement to look for the clock and then this is the thing that I'm excited about I have been wanting a chessboard for so long like since we moved in I think even before we moved in I wanted a chessboard because I feel like chess is one of those things that I've always wanted to play and I just never really took the time to play it because I you know when you play it online you just don't get that satisfying feeling of like the that noise and so we picked this one up it's a wobble chess set so wow. it's called a wobble chess board got Ooh, this look at it's that groovy look at these chess pieces each one is made of solid wood they have this thing <laughs> so they don't tip over <laughs> <laughs> Got the horses in the back. Horses. Oh yeah, this horse is break dancing. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a dancing horse here. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that's wow. so happy. Buys chess board. Buys chess pieces. Does not play chess. <laughs> Wait, does it look like me? No, this is you. Vince, <laughs> I will fight you. If you guys play chess, please leave it in the comments. Is this inherently a sexist game? Because the queen does all the work and the king can only move one space at a time. And if the king dies, the whole kingdom falls. But the queen is out there doing the work. So why does the kingdom fall when they got a queen? Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> that was yes, a horse. Happy horse. <laughs> Honestly, I could look at this all day. And Me too. <laughs> Honey, you're having too much fun with the horse that's break dancing. This one's a ballet dancer. Excuse okay, ready? you. Okay. Wow. Oh, no. Well, it looks like a stand mixer. I have been asking for a chess board for the longest time. My fiance said, no, no, you don't even play chess. And he saw this one because it's wonky as fuck. He decided that this was a good chess board. We've never seen a chess board like this. And so we get it. And Justin's sitting over here going, this is triggering all of my OCD. He's trying to straighten every single one of them out. And just because he did that, are you ready for this, sir? What are you doing? <laughs> Tangerine! Oh, oh. oh, yeah! Mango! So, my fiance and I have never played chess before. <laughs> so, we're gonna play against Justin together. Honey, are you ready? Hear ye! Hear ye! I have an announcement to make. This is my proudest moment because my sneaking suspicions have come a true. The queen will always reign. Kings are useless. And I be both the y'all in chess. You didn't really beat both of us. He helped you. <laughs> the queen will always rule the kingdom. All I gotta say about that. You know what I'm saying? Only you took three hours. Saying? You know what I'm saying? It only it took really? three hours. It took three hours. It took well, three hours. Well, if you have the time to take three days to make some stupid chips. Then we have the time to ruin you and 
chess in three hours. <laughs> I was seeing ruined me. Oh. Played a good game. No, no, no. I had all my bases covered. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. can I get an amen? Seriously, I'm so excited. I think chess is gonna become my new favorite game. First, it was it was pool, and then I, I kept getting my ass wrecked, handed to me in pool. By whom? Him. Then it turned into ping pong. I'm still beating you in ping pong. <laughs> Seven to five, but he let me cheat like three times. <laughs> so it's probably like a four to five, but... So shall we play, play a game against each other on chess now? You and me? Yeah. No, that's divorce waiting to happen. <laughs> we can never play against each other. Because first of all, we're both highly competitive in random ash. I'm never competitive in anything, but randomly I'll have these games that I just can't. And chess seems to be one of them. I remember I used to get competitive with Monopoly and Catan. Do you know how to play Catan? Don't know what Catan is. It's an intellectual game, you know? So let me know in the comments if you guys are into chess and if you guys play online or something. Maybe I can just like join the chat room and we can play chess together, you know what I'm saying? And everyone's like, that is literally for 50 year olds. We're on TikTok, bitch. Thank you so much for this, honey. You like it? Yeah, I just love how they dance. Me too. I just straightened those. <laughs> <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Check one, two. Check mate bits because that has been what I've been doing for the past like five days of my freaking life is playing chess. Also, I know that I said that I was gonna do some pizza hacks with the pizza, but then the pizza ended up turning bad. It was already bad. It was already bad, but then it got um moldy. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Get started on what? Oh, the chess. <laughs> Another round? I want to show them that I'm not lying. I feel like someone's going to be like, Ew, no, Stephanie would never even play chess. But anytime we play with all of the pieces, it takes us about two hours to finish a game yes. because we get increasingly competitive. This time, we're only using all of the pawns. And if you guys don't know, they can only go forward and only eat diagonally, and they can only move two spaces up the first time that they move. This is the king. Once your king gets eaten, you're dead. So this time, we are playing without all of these complex pieces. So either one of these pawns get to the end. Yes. That's one way to win. The other one will be if I, we get the we yeah. get the king. Okay. That's the other way to win. They're just so happy. <gasps> you little bits. Loser has to eat a Carolina Reaper pepper. Your shit. I lost. You lose. It goes from sriracha, jalapeno, cayenne, habanero, and Carolina Rupa Peppa. I thought the jalapeno would be much higher. I thought cayenne is not that spicy. Can you give me one? Yes, here is one. What is this? Carolina Rupa Peppa. Here is a cayenne pepper. Honey, don't cheat. What <laughs> the heck? Here is a cayenne. No. Oh, wait. Here is a Carolina Rupa Peppa. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, ready? Cheers. Set, go. Yeah. It's a candy. Uh-uh. 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 That's a one chip challenge right there. I love how we just stared at each other silently. This was him with the jelly bean inside of his mouth. And then I was... Bits. Why do you always buy these stupid things? Because I think I'm Korean and I think, you know what, I've done nuclear challenge, I've done two times nuclear, and then I'm like, jelly bean? Really? Jelly belly? Sounds weak AF. I'm so sorry it's all over the place. I promise I will be back on schedule again in a couple of days. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh -uh.